guys, it's Jackie M from Masters of Malaysian Cuisine and welcome to My Flavors Europe. My Flavors Europe is an initiative that's a partnership between the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries of Malaysia and Masters of Malaysian Cuisine to bring Malaysian flavors closer to Europe. And the way we do it is that we combine Malaysian ingredients and tropical fruits with uh, familiar European ingredients and cooking styles to produce new taste experiences, okay? Now, uh, we are going to be transporting ourselves virtually all over Europe across five days. This is day number two, and today we are headed to the Netherlands to find out what's cooking in the kitchen of our Netherlands-based chefs, Elias Mohammed and Salsa Villa Abbas, okay? Now, uh, let me bring uh, Elias and Salsa Villa on screen. Elias Mohammed is an acclaimed Malaysian professional artist and ceramist, and he's originally from Trungganu, specializes actually in traditional Malay dishes from the east coast of Malaysia, and his food has won rave reviews from none other than our very own chef, Dato Ismail Ahmad, who is the series ambassador. And Salsa Villa is a graduate of the Sugarcraft School in London, She's skilled in the art of patisserie, and she's the proud owner of Bella Pasiteria and Cakes and Catering. And she's truly passionate about sharing her love of Malaysian cuisine with people around the world. Let me bring them on quickly. Hey guys, great, great. Hi guys. Hello, Hello from Amsterdam. Hello from Holland. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. I can't wait to talk to you. But before we do that, I have a very special message, uh, a welcome message from Malaysia's newly appointed ambassador to the Netherlands, Dato Nazira Osman. So let's have a listen to what Dato Nazira has to say. And just let me quickly remove you guys from camera first. And uh, I I'm juggling a few different tasks here, by the way, everyone. So let's hear what Dato Nazira has to say, and we will come back. And, uh, and talk a little bit more with Elias and Salsa Villa in two minutes. Assalamu and a very good day to everyone. I am delighted that the Malaysian Flavors in Europe program is finally taking place. I would like to commend the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries, together with Masters of Malaysian Cuisine, Tourism Malaysia, Martrade and Pharma for organizing the program. The Netherlands is an important trading partner when it comes to Malaysian food products, be it fresh, frozen or processed. Malaysian tropical fruits also stands out when it comes to freshness, taste and quality. We have a wide variety of exotic and delicious fruits such as jackfruit, mangosteen, rambutan, dragon fruit, star fruit and not forgetting the king of fruits, durian. In ensuring Malaysia food ingredients and tropical fruits are widely accessible in foreign markets, it is important to continue the efforts to propel Malaysia to the forefront of global cuisines. This include adapting the promotional strategy to match local palate and conditions and integrating on-site and virtual programs to achieve the objectives of promoting not only Malaysian cuisines and tropical fruits, but also food products. Malaysia is also acknowledged as a world leader in the area of halal food production with a comprehensive halal ecosystem. Our reputable halal certification system is globally recognized, providing assurance of product safety and quality. In this connection, I am pleased to inform you that Malaysia will virtually host the 17th International Halal Showcase, or also known as MIHAS, from 9 September to 31st December. Do visit Mihas website at www.mihas.com.my for more information. We hope that through the Malaysian Flavors in Europe series, audience from all around the world, especially in the Netherlands, will be able to explore the use of Malaysian food ingredients in various cuisines. Please enjoy the show, brought to you by our very own two local personalities, Mr. Elias Mohammed and Mrs. Salsa Bella Abbas. Okay, back again. So let me bring Salsa Villa and Elias back on screen. We're going to talk to them very quickly. And then we are going to bring our ambassador uh, for the series, Chef Ismail 
to join us shortly. Hey guys, okay, so tell us, tell, tell everyone what are you guys making today, and also what Malaysian ingredients are you featuring? Okay, I was making lasagna uh, using lamb uh, lamb meat, uh, minced meat, and for the sauce, I'm uh, I'm using a coconut milk instead of the cream, like usually they use for lasagna. And also I use curry powder to give um, a special kick for the lasagna, which is a little bit um, uh, you know. So uh, I, I, I let some of the Italian friends that tried it and they're very excited uh, with the taste. Excellent. I'm making a durian custard tartlet. Normally they use uh, local uh, fruits. But now I'm using the durian custard. It, it gives a little a creamy taste and it's very delicious. And then I'm sure they will like it. Okay, excellent. I love durian, so I'm very, very interested to find the uh, to get a hold of the recipe. By the way, guys, uh, if you're just tuning in now, don't forget you can get the recipes for this entire series just by signing up to our email list, which is at malaysianchefs.com slash mafi, M-A-F-I. Um, and also the other thing I just want to quickly point out to everyone, uh, guys, with this COVID environment, everyone's very like sensitive about rules and regulations. I just want to mention you guys are both fully vaccinated as are your guests. Am I right? Yes, correct. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, excellent, excellent. COVID okay. <laughs> Well, now we have Chef Dr. Ismail Ahmad with us and he is just on standby. Chef Ismail is a household name in Malaysia and in a lot of uh, Europe actually. Chef Ismail has been an ambassador for Malaysian cuisine all over Europe for many years and he is now back in Malaysia because nobody can travel unfortunately. Chef Ismail has been in many TV shows. He is very, very passionate about Malaysian cooking. His restaurant, Restaurant Robong in Kuala Lumpur is one of the most best reviewed and highly regarded uh, Malaysian restaurants in the world. So let's bring Chef Ismail on to see what he has to say to you guys about what you're cooking today. Chef, how are you? Hi, Dr. Hello. Chef. Hello, Chef. Hi. Hello from Malaysia. Actually, I'm Hello. on the road now. I'm on the road from Rambau to Kuala Lumpur. We are passing by Seremban, which is the south of Malaysia. So Elias and uh, Sasabella, how are you? <laughs> we are very good, very excited, yeah. You're so looking forward to yeah, showing well, the, thank the recipe. Thank you. I love your kabaya, so yellow. We are like celebrating Hari Raya today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, first of all, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to uh, welcome our new ambassadors to Netherlands, Dato Nat Zira Osman, which is also uh, a friend of mine, who, who oh, are now in, okay. in, in Holland. Welcome, so, Dato. Uh, yeah, so uh, Alias and Sasabella, I hope you go and say hello to her and welcome her. I, mean, I can't I wait to, uh, to meet, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I hope she's watching us. Hi, Dato. How are you? I hope so, yes. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, this is the second day. Uh, Rosita and Lisa did a very good job yesterday. And I'm sure both of you are well dressed. I feel like Hari Raya today. <laughs> Thank you, Dato. Yeah, good all to the have best, you. Uh, Chef, uh, all the best of a new celebrity, as what Dato was saying earlier from Netherlands. So welcome, Alias and okay. Isabella. All oh, the show is all yours. Good luck. Thank Love you. you. Bye bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Okay, guys, so let's uh, talk a little bit more about your ingredient choices, right? So you're using curry, uh, curry flavors, and you are yeah. using coconut milk, and also uh, you're using durian. So uh, what are three highlights uh, that people can look forward to in your cooking segment? What are the highlights? Uh, for, 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 my, for my lasagna? Uh, for yeah. my lasagna is uh, because normally uh, people are, are used to typical um, uh, Italian taste for the lasagna, right? So with the twist of the uh, curry inside, and uh, it will attract more um, Asian because Asian prefer strong taste 
mostly. So it won't be too. I I wouldn't say it's it's boring. The taste of Italian. It just give uh, uh, something different for, for the sure. taste. And yeah, totally. yeah. And and for the coconut milk, uh, it is it's really it's really yummy. You know, like um, the the white sauce. It becomes so. Um, uh, it's, it's difficult to explain. You really have to taste it to yeah, to, sure. to, to, to savor the flavor. Yeah. Sure. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. What about you, Salsa Bila? For, for my dish, because uh, durian is very well known, uh, most people in the in Western uh, countries they don't they don't really know how to how to uh, savor. Yeah, yeah. How to eat the durian? Yeah. Yet. Like. Because the taste is yeah, too, the very, taste, dominant, so yeah, very dominant, so yeah. they they feel like if yeah. they want to eat fresh, maybe they will be afraid, you know. If, and if I uh, make it into their own uh, dishes, and then they will, you know, like oh, okay. yeah, tune down, yeah. tune down tune the down taste a little, bit, a little bit, and a mixture of, of yeah. um, something else. You hardly, you know, like it it, it becomes so enjoyable to yeah. eat. Yeah, the taste is yeah. there, but it's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, cool, cool. And finally, of course, we have your guests, your Dutch friends who are going to be tasting. Yeah, to food. try it out. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you stick around to the end. That's a big part of the series. We want to actually get validation from the locals to see if actually, you know, the flavors agree with them, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so we can do that exactly. at the end. Yeah. yeah. But before we play your pre recorded cooking segment, I have some words of wisdom from our very own master of Malaysian cuisine, Chef um, Johari Edros, who actually, for those of you uh, watching overseas, Chef Joe Edros is uh, very, very experienced in international cuisine, especially European cuisine, but not just that, he is the judge of Master Chef Malaysia across five seasons. Yeah, so Chef Joe has been mentoring Salsa Villa and Elias for this session. Let's have a listen to what Chef Joe has to say and we will come back and we'll talk to you a little bit and we'll play your session okay just let me remove you from the screen i have a lot of things happening on my camera okay let's bring on chef joe hi colony greeting from malaysia so today i would like to share some tips on the lasagna that you're cooking more to malaysian touch uh, using curry powder for your lamb lasagna i think it's quite a nice uh, dish that you choose you'll be using the um, uh, the Italian herbs, yeah, the Italian herb and the uh, basil. So you can still use it, but not too much. And you, my, my suggestion maybe you can even uh, use the carapole or down curry or curry leaf, maybe finely chopped, and then you can mix together with your bechamel, or maybe you can sprinkle on top just to give more, more flavor. For the um, bechamel that you're using, uh, it's quite nice, quite quite very interesting because you are using uh, santan or coconut milk. So I believe we can give very good, nice, uh, creamy aroma. In regards to the dessert, um, I think I don't have any much comment about it. I think it's a good selection because you've been using uh, more kaya, like durian flavors. So maybe your presentation might be slightly, maybe quite nice, or maybe you, I don't know, maybe you're going to top up with some cream but by the side and so on. So I think that can be a, a nice. Uh, I wish you all the best with your cooking, uh, your Mafi cooking show. And I believe you can do it. And looking forward to see to watch you on the, the show. Okay, jumpa lagi. Okay, guys, uh, let's bring on uh, Elias and Sosa Bila one last time before we play the role. Hey, guys, okay, all the I just want to say all the best to you guys with this. And of course, Thank anyone you. just watching, uh, we have a lot of comments already. Keep them coming through. Uh, we're going to display them on screen. If you have any questions at all, we're going to get uh, Salsa Villa and Elias to come back on and answer your questions at the end of this. Okay, so make sure you stick around. We're not ignoring you. It's just because we're playing a pre recorded session. Uh, we don't want to just kind of comment in the comment section, right? We want you guys to answer on camera at the end. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, let me just remove you from screen again and bring on the main segment okay guys welcome to master of malaysian cuisine malaysia uh, today uh, uh, we are going to prepare two different uh, menus i'm i'm making a lasagna and um, my friend salsa bila uh, abbas she will be making three kaya from durian hello hi my name is salsa bila i'm from johor Bahru. today we are going to make something 
using the local products combined with Malaysian products. Yes, exactly. Okay, chef. Shall we start? I will okay, put this uh, aside first. Okay, what are the things that we need to do? Okay, um, for the main ingredient is minced meat uh, from lamb. It's about 500 gram. And then uh, we need about uh, 300 gram of uh, young and mature cheese, yeah? Uh, grated. Uh, one can of peeled tomato, or you call, you call it cube tomato as well from the, from the can. And I use one can of uh, mushrooms. And here I have um, tomato. tomato puree. Mm -hmm. And here I have one uh, fresh tomato, about one and a half of carrots, and about half of uh, zucchini, and one red onion, and two cloves of garlics. Uh, and here I have a bit of uh, tomato uh, ketchup and one tablespoon of curry powder. Okay. And uh, I have uh, one egg here. Spices. I have uh, about one tablespoon of oregano and one tablespoon of uh, Italian herbs. And uh, some uh, white pepper and black pepper and salt. Okay. So that's it. And uh, here are the stuff for the white sauce. I'll let uh, uh, Bella um, uh, introduce it. We also need to make the white sauce, right? Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, what are the things that we need to have? Okay. Uh, for the white sauce, I'm using about eight, uh, 80 gram of butter. Yeah. Uh, about one and a half tablespoon of uh, flour. Just uh, plain flour. And uh, one leek, which uh, I chopped it very finely, and then one bleak, uh, one can of uh, coconut milk, yeah. And then I and saw here a few. Yes, we are, we are we are about to use about three pieces of uh, old cheese here okay. as well, yeah. Shall we start? And then um, we start with butter. for your sauce do you need oil no we just use uh, this one this one yes you, you can um, add the oil in this um, as well so we can um, get it on together okay okay and now I'm going to add the um, onion let's see if this is already it's not yet. Wait. I need another spoon for that. <coughs> uh, yeah. um, Bella, as you can see now, uh, the butter is already melted. So now you can uh, put the um, flour first. Okay, I'll, yep. I'll put the flour. Okay. Yeah, and then with uh, followed by the leek. Mm. Just let it brown for a while. Mm. In the meantime, I yes. saw that you already put some onion inside. Yeah, that. I think I will get started with uh, with the onion here as well. Okay, so Elias, I'm, um, I heard that you are a ceramist, so what is that actually in a ceramist? Yep, I am. Uh, I also teach uh, ceramic. Yeah? Ceramist is actually artist, it's also artist, but we use the clay as our medium. So unlike other artists who use canvas for their painting or um, sculptor who use stones for for their objects, we are using clay, and from clay we can uh, actually uh, create all kind of art. Um, 
Oh, from uh, big pieces to small pieces, yeah. and also like uh, dining ware and oh. tea sets and stuff like that. So oh. that's my specialty. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is already getting soft. Yep. Well, what shall I do now? And Next. then you can add the um, coconut milk. Coconut milk now, little by little. Yep. Start half first. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Is this enough? Just uh, stir it first, and then uh, the anoth another half you can add later. Okay, yeah. So how long have you been a uh, ceramist? Uh, I started uh, ceramic um, seriously, I think about uh, uh, since uh, 2000, 2004. Yep. So yeah, 2004. Yeah, 2004. Oh, okay. That's and I, start, I started teaching at 2005. And then I uh, organized solo exhibitions and also group exhibitions all over okay. Europe since yeah. then. Besides mm -hmm. uh, cer ceramic, what else do you do? Do uh, you do also painting? Yeah, like? I do paintings okay. as well. And I do, um, um, oh. I do cooking most of, oh. of the time. Because that's I like very obvious. Yeah, yeah. I love I love cooking the most because cooking for me is like a therapy. Yeah? Okay. It, it makes me um, very relaxed when I'm in the kitchen creating all, all kind of foods, combining all the um, ingredients, local ingredients. And as a typical Malaysian person, I cannot live without Malaysian food. So I must have all the um, uh, stuff uh, from my own country. And I like to organize um, dinner and um, lunch uh, with some friends. Uh, okay, okay, now I'm I'm going to add uh, meat into um, my onion. Uh, can you please uh, get rid of this first? Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, um, I put it on the medium fire now. And maybe you can add uh, another half of the coconut milk there. We okay. may need some water in this as well, huh, Bella. Okay. Can, mm -hmm. And then um, here goes the tomato. The chunk tomato, eh? So how often do you make Malaysian food at home every I day? I cook for myself like uh, three times, four times a week. And then for the rest, um, sometimes Italian, sometimes um, uh, French food. Okay. And how about you? My uh. family, uh, my husband is Dutch, uh, but he loves rice more than me. Okay, that's <laughs> yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, but How about the children? The children, none of them, they eat rice. Oh, that's... Yeah, they only eat pasta. So that's pasta. extra work for you, okay. Yes, yes, every time I have to make uh, two different type of food. Yeah? Yeah. Well, okay, now I'm adding um, mushrooms into this. Okay. What this about this one? Sh uh, what shall I put the... Yes, please. Okay. And now this goes the curry powder. This is very old, eh? Because yes. I can see the... Yep. I like uh, to use old cheese for, for this because it's much tastier than... Um, crystallized... Yeah. Um, yep. You can use three pieces of those. Three yep. pieces? Yep. Okay. And here I add some tomato ketchup. Okay. And then carrot first. So, Chef, do you put the curry powder already? What type of uh, brand are you using? Yes, actually, I already uh, added about one and a half uh, tablespoon of curry powder, which I used um, baba this time. Uh, and um, because I prefer the, the taste of Baba, but if you like any other brand, uh, you just um, 
Pick whatever you like. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um. I I actually it's uh, quite easy to find the uh, Baba's curry powder here. Yeah. I I found it in Wanam Hong and yeah. also Oriental uh, shop in the Netherlands. Yes, that's yeah, true. It's yeah. very easy. A lot of quite a lot of products you can find yes, uh, here in the it's Netherlands. It's very convenient these yeah. days, yeah, because they have. Uh, um, I th I believe it's all over Holland. We we can we can find um, Malaysian um, products th this is. So are you putting now? I am adding uh, about uh, one small can of um, tomato puree as well. Okay. Uh, this white sauce. What else do I need to put in? Um, you need to put a half um, of this uh, grated. Um, um, okay. Yeah, cheese. Okay. Any cheese? Uh, do you prefer for uh, example it depends on in what what you prefer yeah because uh like um for my um um for cheddar this one, cheese yeah, or something you can use cheddar as well but i like the mixture of young and uh, mature cheese okay it's not too young it's n not too mature so this is like in the middle in between yeah okay yeah mm. So some people like to put uh, parmesan. Is it okay to put parmesan? Uh, that's all right. Yeah, that's all right as well. Okay. And now I'm adding um, zucchini. Is this enough? Or do you, do you want to keep some for uh, the? Yes, I think uh, let let's check the texture. And just um, wait until it it melts. Yeah. Yeah. Accordingly. Shall I put some more water? Yes, here? please. Mm. Okay, put some more water here. That consist consistency of the sauce. This is yeah, still that, that too thin. Yeah, uh, eh? that looks a, a bit thin. You can add a little bit more. Okay. Uh, of this, or maybe one one slice of um, the old cheese. old cheese as well. Okay. And then I I am adding one tomato, fresh tomato here. So we are done with all this. Okay, let me clear this first. And then there goes uh, oregano and uh, Italian herbs. It smells so delicious already. Yeah? And then I'll add uh, salt. This is very small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall I put some salt here? Uh, yes. I normally uh, use like this. Mm -hmm. So if I accidentally put a lot, I can easily take it out. Yeah, I can understand. But <laughs> I'm, I'm used to my which is like in one, <laughs> in one go. Um, and then a little bit of uh, black pepper as well. Okay. And then I will break one egg into this, yeah? Uh, the no. white sauce looks um, all right already. I think you can um, reduce the fire now. Okay, that one and also looks yeah. nice. And then I'll just add the um, uh, fresh, um, what do you call it? Um, what are you using that? But, um, Is that coriander? Parsley, no. Oh, parsley, parsley. Yeah. okay. Okay, I'll bring down the fire a little bit. A bit more salt. I will taste this. Okay, this is already. Yeah. I think this is done. Okay, guys, as you can see, the sauce is now ready. Um, I yeah, I already tasted. White sauce is also ready. So shall we assemble the? Uh, lasagna? Yes. Uh, will you get the uh, lasagna, lasagna sheet uh, here? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll show you. This is the la lasagna sheet. This uh, I already prepared. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, from the supermarket. You just uh, boil it um, for about 
five to seven minutes and then soak it in um, cold water for a while and then uh, you can use it um, instantly. Let me clear the table. Yes, okay. <coughs> Yes, can I have the... Okay, here is the mole. Can I have some butter, please, uh, Bella? Uh, okay, Bella, can I have some butter, please? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Can I have yours? Yes. Okay, um, we start with one uh, thin layer of um, the good. sauce first, so, 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 just, just so it doesn't stick to the, um, to the mold, just like that. And then here goes. Normally, when I boil it, it tend to stick together. How do you do that? Uh, How can I normally use a little bit of uh, oil in the in the water while, while cooking. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and then we start with the white sauce on white top sauce. of this. Yep, try to spread it. Yep. And then um, here goes the meat. So the setting of the oven, um, how do you put? I normally do it like uh, 180 to 200 degrees and it will be baked for about uh, 25 to 30 minutes. So this is almost ready, so we are going to put in the yes. oven. How long are you going to uh, bake it's it? It's about 25 to uh, 30 minutes. Yeah. I normally do it 190 to 200 uh, Celsius. Yeah. So uh, this looks about right. So okay. we can transfer this uh, into the oven now. Okay, see yeah? you guys in 30 right. minutes. <coughs> Hi guys, welcome back. So while waiting for the lasagna uh, to come out of the oven, um, Bella is going to demonstrate um, a special dessert today made of durian. So Bella, tell us uh, about your durian dessert today. Okay, mm -hmm. my dessert called Sakaya Durian Tartlet. All right. Um, I'm going to use the Musang King uh, durian, which uh, can be found in um, amazing Oriental or Wanam okay. Hong. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you can uh, easily find in one of the Branch their branches. Yeah. 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 So yeah, for the I'm going to show you the ingredients for the custard. This is the durian. I use the pulp durian. I'm not. I I didn't use the the whole f uh, fruit because I only need. Two one, grams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right. one cup, yeah. mm -hmm. and then one cup of coconut milk, one and a half to two tablespoons of custard, one egg, and pandan leaves, mm -hmm. and one tablespoon of uh, sugar okay. and pinch of salt. Okay. Yeah, that's so the, the sweetness the is originally. Uh, yeah, comes I don't use many. Yeah, so too much I don't put sugar. too much sugar yeah. because the, the durian is already. A uh, sweet, <coughs> and then for the uh, for the shell, mm -hmm. two hundred fifty grams of flour, fifty grams of uh, sugar, hundred. It's you, you make it powder, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if mm -hmm. I use the normal uh, uh, mm -hmm. sugar, the structure will be you know very rough. Uh, rough. Yeah, so yeah. I don't really so like. like yeah, fine. I like it fine. Yeah. 140 grams of 
dice butter, mm -hmm. it's cold, mm. and pinch of salt, too. I already put in this, and uh, egg yolk. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make the shell first. Put the flour. Mix in the sugar. And butter. Okay, so make sure you just use your fingertips because we don't want to. You pinch it, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we don't want to keep the yeah. the butter yeah. melted when it's already a crumble. Then we can put the. Is it, egg. is it not possible to use uh, put it in the mixer? Yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, if you don't right? have, yeah. If you don't have the mixer, yeah. then uh, you mm. can just use your hand. It's also easier to feel it. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. feel texture. Yeah. yeah. So durian, this is really uh, nice, eh? Yeah. W do you prefer? Yeah. Fresh um, durian. I, I, I miss uh, fresh durian uh, from home, uh, actually. But when you are abroad, then you have to just find whatever you can. So uh, I heard uh, they have some kind of uh, dessert products um, um, as well, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. mochi. You can <laughs> find it in uh, Amazing Oriental yeah. Yeah. or uh, the Wan Nam Hong. They yeah. also got. And I heard the Durian King is uh, easily sold out. Eh? So yeah, you but really have to. Um, or you to have to yeah. reserve it. Or yeah, to, to rush. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot, hot <laughs> item. Well, hot they item. are av available. Yeah. The egg yolk. This is going to bind the yeah. the dough. Surprisingly, eh, there's uh, some uh, so many of my friends. They actually know how to use coconut milk uh, uh, in the um, in, in the cooking. So uh, even if it's not uh, Asian cooking, but they still prefer uh, coconut milk instead of cream. Eh? Yeah, this maybe because um, uh, one of the yeah. reasons, perhaps, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, some people they are mm. allergic to yeah, milk. To yeah, 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 dairy product. Yeah, yeah. dairy yeah. product. Mm. So they use milk as a as yeah. Alternative. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Mm. My dough is ready. I'm going to put in the fridge for a few hours, at least. F one few hours. One one hour okay. at least. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh. you can keep it overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. The tip is if you want to put in the fridge. Keep it flat because when it's yeah. uh, when it's hard, it's difficult to to soften it. About two centimeter like that. Yeah. Right? This, um, yeah. Or thinner. Yeah. Yeah. About three millimeters, something like oh, that. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So oh. before I put in the fridge, I yeah. flatten it. So the the dough of mm -hmm. the tart shell I already prepared earlier yeah. this morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use that. Here it is. It's already it flat. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to make the shell. What I do normally, I use this. These are the the mold. The mold. Yeah. Yep. Just use this. Put inside, press it. Or oh, before that, you have to butter, butter it, it yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it won't stick. Press it, take off the excess. Clean it a bit. That's one. Looks good. Yeah, the next one. Yeah, I I tried 
uh, making this and then uh, my uh, my husband uh, he's Dutch yeah. he tried and then he said that yeah. it's nice it's very nice he really loves yeah. it I think um, Dutch people um, they have to get used to the um, uh, the smell of the durian because normally they they, they judge the taste by the smell yes. without even um, trying uh, it first. trying yeah. on on in the mouth yeah yeah okay that's our last one yeah all right now we have this then we can put in the fridge can use it later and the shell can put in the oven. how long do you uh, bake this for <coughs> it's about 20 minutes 180, 180 degrees, degrees. Yeah. all right it's okay so the shell is ready but you have yeah. to make some holes so that the yeah, air, the air will can circle yeah. Yeah. <coughs> okay so 180 degrees for 20 minutes all right okay now the shell is uh, in the oven uh, Bella what's next um, next I'm going to make the custard okay yeah first I use um, two-thirds of the coconut, coconut milk. milk yeah this is pure coconut milk okay? you don't oh. mix with any water anymore mm. uh, yeah the santan pekat yeah, yeah? yeah. yeah. okay mm. If if you use a uh, thin coconut milk, then the taste is not that yeah. uh, creamy. All yeah? right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. One tablespoon of sugar. One egg. Okay. One egg. And custard? Uh, the custard. Okay. Mix it. Is it possible to use um, other uh, Malaysian fruit uh, instead of? Yes. Uh, yes, you can use uh, mm -hmm. jackfruit. Mm -hmm. I tried once. Mm -hmm. the jackfruit is also nice. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You can uh, half of the uh, uh, jackfruit you can blend, Bl so uh, yeah. the taste is very yes. you know like yeah. uh, in the, yes. the custard, mm -hmm. yeah. and then uh, you can cut. Uh, or make it like a, uh, yeah, more some some of the uh, yeah chopped, chopped yeah. Um, jackfruit mm -hmm. to put on top as like a decoration. A, a decoration yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, sounds um, like yeah. a good idea. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so mm. I have this. Um, the salt is already in, in the, the in coconut. coconut milk. Yeah. yeah, and the next one is the durian. I'm going to uh, mix. Because the durian, to make it fine, eh? yeah, with the mixer, yeah, mm -hmm. or else, yeah. because the the meat of the durian is is quite big, yeah, so it's, it will be difficult yeah. to put in the yes. shell later. Yes. Okay. Can smell the durian yes, already. Yes, it's eh? very nice. Quite strong, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this I'm going to. I'm going to blend it. All right. Yeah, <coughs> for a while. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Mix together. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. And don't forget our the pandan. Uh, it's about five minutes. Then we can take this out. Okay. You see? Wow. The yep. smell. The yep. smell is wow. really delicious. Okay. Yeah. We can put in the piping. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, I want to take out the pandan, the leaf pandan yeah. leaves first. Oh, sorry. Yep. Take out the pandan leaves. Can you help? Yeah. Okay, that's about it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, this custard is too hot to put on the shell. Immediately, eh? you yeah. Have to yeah. Cool it uh, down for yeah, a while. Yeah, and put in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I already prepared this morning. This is my custard. And also, I prepared the tart the shell. shell. Yeah, which is already cold. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is already cold. And the custard is also cold. Can I have a... Scissors. So really, you can use any types of filling. Yeah. You can use uh, jackfruit, and uh, yeah, that is the most suitable. Yeah. What uh, about um, what about other fruits um, such as um, dragon dragon fruit? Is it possible for this as well? <coughs> Um, that one can be found easily here. In yeah, it uh, can be found uh -uh. easily, but I haven't tried using uh, yeah. to make this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, tartlet. You can find other fruit also, like mm. a star fruit. You can find it here, fresh one. Yeah. Jackfruit you can only find in the freezer. Star fruits, I never, um, never tried as dessert yet so far. Um, just eat it fresh. Uh, do you have any suggestion? What is it um, suitable for? Mm. Uh, star fruit, you can use the uh, puff pastry, okay. and then you just make just uh, like uh, uh, apple. Chop it. Yeah, yeah like chop okay. it, and yeah. then mix with sugar and okay. some. Um, Raisins, cinnamon, uh, cinnamon like and then you just make it like a uh, puff pastry okay. Uh, dessert. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. here I already fill in the shell with the custard. The texture is not too, not too soft, not too but wet, yeah. not too uh, hard. So if it's not enough, you can just uh, fill in, okay, and put some decorations. I have uh, pandan leaves. And uh, in the meantime, I'll g I'll check the um, uh, the lasagna from the oven. Okay. Okay, guys. So these are the results of our demonstration today. Uh, the delicious. Uh, Srikaya durian from Bella Pasticceria and uh, lamb curry lasagna from me uh, with coconut milk and uh, curry taste. And we would like to uh, thank you to the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Industries in uh, the Netherlands uh, for organizing this program and we also would like to thank you the Embassy of Malaysia 
and um, a Madrid and also the tourism mm -hmm. for organizing this program. Yeah, and Madrid is also organizing uh, an in Malaysian, Malaysian International, International Halal Showcase, mm -hmm. uh, or do you call it Mihas, from 9 to 12 September in Kuala Lumpur, right? in Kuala Lumpur yeah. but uh, it's uh, virtual. Yeah. So if you plan to explore the Malaysian products, you can visit the website at www.mihas.com.my. Okay, Chef, let's invite our Dutch friend to try okay. the durian tartlet. Mr. Van der Poel, as you believe. And Mr. Rosenberg. Hello, Hi. thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, it's, it's delicate. You have to be careful <laughs> eating it. <laughs> yeah. Get smell durian. Yes. Yeah? Okay. It's okay, Vatis. Oh, it's very light. It's really nice. Very nice? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is a very, very, you have to handle it very gently. Yeah. Yeah? This is very it's fragile um, dessert. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now. Congratulations, friendship. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Hi, Peter. Hi. So, how do you find the lasagna, the lamb curry lasagna? It's really good. It's a nice, nice um, combination. Thank you. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, hello. And Mr. Van Poel, how, how do you like the lasagna? It's very nice. It's uh, very tasteful. I like also the vegetables inside and uh, the meat. It's a very good combination. Yeah, it's uh, delicious. Very good, Serios. Okay, guys, thanks again for um, for watching this. And we have a lot of comments. I just need to bring uh, Elias and Salsa Villa back. Hey, guys, that was very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just reading. We really had quite a lot uh, watching that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Some enthusiasm in it. <laughs> 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 now, before before we bring on the questions, uh, I just want to bring a Chef Dato Ismail Ahmad back here on screen to see what he thought about your cooking session, okay? Hi, Chef. How are you? Hi, My chef. goodness! These two celebrity chefs is amazingly done. Thank you. 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 Thank you are super divine fine chef, upcoming celebrity of Malaysia. Good luck in your future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, chef. chef. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, chef. We'll see you next Thank time. You. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay, we have some fantastic. We, I, I was struggling to keep up with the comments. Um, now, the one one person actually asked in Malaya, how come you did uh, what makanan Asia? Why did you not cook something Asian? I, I just want to clarify the theme for this series. My flavor is Europe. We are not actually teaching people how to cook Malaysian food in this series. We're taking uh, a, a smaller step we're just wanting to introduce malaysian flavors to uh european kitchens right so we're using a little yeah. bit new and also something familiar to it's our familiar, yeah. yeah and bringing it together right okay so yeah let's tackle some of these questions chef joe your mentor asked why did you actually pick lasagna so what would you say to that elias oh okay because normally uh, lasagna here is really you really stick uh, to Italian taste, yeah? It's all the, uh, but I, I, I thought, uh, because I'm Malaysian and I have some, sometimes I have um, a Malaysian friends as well, who's not really keen on uh, original um, Italian taste of lasagna. They said, mm, it's quite nice, but it's, 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 uh, it's not really um, suits their, their, their taste, you know? So I, I, I thought, what if I just I just twist it a little bit, you know, like with, with a nice curry powder in it and, and the curry powder dominate more of the uh, 
tomato uh, taste. And yeah, but yeah. I don't want to get rid of the Italian herbs, so let it combine a little bit as well comes inside. But it it, yeah. it, it is actually you know that it it, it surprised me that, that that the curry and and the rest of the Italian things inside that it it goes really well together. So uh -huh. um, um, yeah, so it worked. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because Italian flavors are quite strong as well. Yeah, yeah. especially the tomato. They, they use so many, so they have tomato puree, in it, they have uh, fresh tomato, and they have a canned tomato as well. And curry with tomato is like you, you're making Indian curry. You don't use coconut milk, and you just use tomato, and it goes really good together. I agree, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we have so many people to say hello, I can't cover them all. But notably, we have uh, our Masters of Malaysian Cuisine chefs, uh, Bob Adnan said hello earlier. And of course, we have our gang from MOMC at the heart, like, um, uh, you know, Lisa, Lisa <laughs> and Zaleha from MOMC said hello, Masna saying hello. So lots and lots of people. Um, now, the other question, someone, Ahamima uh, Karim said hello. And uh, some of the, uh, Hi, one, of the one of the questions earlier was, uh, what do you mean by old cheese? Like, you know, someone was saying, or yeah, do you uh, mean we, uh, well, like that, uh, dust cheese? We, we have like the young cheese is is very new that, that the taste is not really strong. So people who are not used to, to eating cheese. So it's maybe it's more suitable they use for burgers, something like that. But sure. people, real, real, real um, uh, Dutch, they like something strong, you know. So the, there are, it's like wine. The, the, the older they are, they are so the, the tastier, very better taste. There's some like 20, 30 years old, you know, like, uh, and then the price becomes uh, much higher. And that wow. medium one is like from five to 10 years old, like that. So for yeah. this, I like the combination of not too old because I, I use the slices, uh, the three slices that goes into the white sauce is already, already uh, old from old cheese. It's a very nice crystallized uh, type of uh, the taste is also strong, yeah, right? and they use as snack as well. And when 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 you you go visit Dutch people, they they cut it into cubes and they yeah. serve, uh, serve it in the platter. And then that's the, the 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 one that tastes the most tasty because it's crunchy because it's old, and then the the, the medium one uh, is is more like um, 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 bit rubbery, uh, like um, and then the, the young one it, it melts almost immediately in, on your oh, tongue. So so that's okay. the difference between that. Yeah. The combination yeah. is and the combination of all okay. those together. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, Fauzia said earlier good tips about the tart shell, uh, Salsa Villa. And also, uh, Annie was asking when you said fine sugar, do you mean icing sugar? Yes, yes, okay. because when I use the normal sugar, the, the structure of the dough is very coarse. Yes. And then you can feel it. But, okay. but when you wait, and then you don't see anymore. But it's, it's just how you prefer. Yeah, okay. I prefer with the icing sugar, then it's very smooth and then it's easier to work with. That is my preference. Okay, sure. Uh, Nafisa is asking, can we use the lasagna sheets without pre-boiling them? Uh, there are some already, uh, the, the type of the sheet that you don't have to boil. Eh? But there are, if, if you have to read carefully on the pa packaging. If it says it's, you don't need to, uh, to boil it first, then it, you don't have to. But okay. you you actually can, you actually can can make it fresh as well eh? if you um, if you want to make it from 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 flour and and just you add one egg and you just throw like making curry pop like that eh? it has to be very thin and sure. that one you yeah okay now I want to ask you just very quickly about uh, you mentioned earlier that you could easily get the Baba's curry powder at Wanam Hong supermarket. Right. Um, how easy is it to find Malaysian ingredients and all the stuff that you use today? Can you get them at Wan Nam Hong and other uh, Asian supermarkets quite easily? Yeah, we, they have uh, in a big I live in Amsterdam. Yeah? So in Amsterdam, we have uh, like um, many Asian people uh, living in Amsterdam and we have all kind of small shops like Indian stores. Uh, we have like um, um, Thai uh, supermarkets or small, Thai small shops. 
and you can just get almost everything there. You know, like uh, they say, you you don't feel like you 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 miss anything if you want to cook. If you're gonna cook Asian, everything okay. is available. Yeah, yeah. sure. I happen to uh, uh, last few days I went to one on home. I can find the selection of Adabi products like uh, rendang powder, yeah. curry powder. Paste, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's, yeah. it's quite a lot. So it's it's quite easy to find. Ready made, ready made. Uh, no, no, it's just uh, okay. powder. You yeah. can you know like yeah. make uh, yeah. rendang from scratch, yeah. uh, curry from scratch. Yeah. So it's it's very easy to find. Yeah, they're it's fresh, the rice, yeah. fresh, uh, fresh uh, pandan, uh, pandan, pandan leaves, leaves yeah. coconut, coconut leaves, everything. So if you want to use uh, any, uh, you if you want to make uh, any sort of traditional dishes using banana leaves, like uh, you can easily yes, find is, is fresh it, or yeah. frozen. Yeah. Can easily find them here. Really One of them oriental. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, for for our. Uh, non-Malaysian viewers, I have to point out, you know, how Elias used curry powder uh, flavors in his lasagna. Malaysian curry powders are not like, not all curry powders are created equal. You have to get Malaysian curry powders if you want the Malaysian yeah. flavor. I've had yeah. people make that mistake. My own daughter made that mistake. She followed my recipe and she said, because she grew yeah. up eating food at my restaurant back in the day and then finally she did, she decided to make her own chicken curry so it doesn't taste the same and it turned out she bought curry powder from another country I won't mention yeah, it exactly, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I happen to use baba because I like the taste of baba you know but I have a friend who asked me because he wants to try rendang taste so he doesn't have to use curry powder so you just mix the combination of like uh, a, a, a coriander powder and a jintan powder, you know, like, uh, and and you mix those together. You can you, you can yourself. yes, and you can even uh, even add in a, um, a, a ginger, you know, like uh, just a, um, a little bit of ginger and 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 even sambal, you know, the the chili. So that yeah. uh, you you can actually create be creative with the taste you you want, and because lasagna can it, it can. They, they make dessert from lasagna uh, as lasagna as well huh? so yeah. so be, be free to be creative um, yeah yeah as far as, as i'm concerned yeah yeah it's interesting you should mention uh rendang flavor because guys uh these live broadcasts are not all we're doing all right we actually have a couple of very special youtubers i think a lot of malaysians would know the jet lag warriors and a lot of Malaysians would know Marco D. Alamak, who's British and usually is based in Malaysia. Alamak is going to post a response video to your lasagna in a couple of days, okay? So why don't yes, you say yes, he'll, be, he'll be using the uh, rendang taste. So yeah, we, we, right. we've been communicating uh, via email, you know, so he asked me what to, what to substitute instead of curry powder. So I, sure. I gave him advice to use the uh, uh, things, certain ingredients for real um, uh, rendang taste. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play a quick clip from Mark because he actually um, he actually filmed something for us. Let's have a listen to what he has to say. When you add a touch of Malaysian flavour into your cooking, you get my flavors europe and it is happening from the 8th to the 12th of september live cooking demonstrations from top chefs it's going to be tasty it's going to be very spicy make sure you catch it okay so that's mark, <laughs> you, mark. great guy um, let us just quickly bring chef ismail back on screen for one final word and before i do that though guys uh, don't forget all the recipes that all our chefs are doing in this series, you can get it just by signing up to our our, our sign-up form, which you can go uh, get at malaysianchefs.com slash mafi. Sign up. We will send you all the recipes. We'll send you our special edition e-magazine that's going to cover this series very, very soon after the end of this series, okay? So make sure you don't miss out. We have a lot of very valuable uh, content from... Uh, all these chefs, these amazing, like, I, I, I love the look of that durian tart. I, I had to have a go at making it. It's really okay. delicious. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. 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 And also, before I forget, tomorrow's session, don't forget to catch it, same time slot, okay? So 11 a.m. in if you're based in Europe, 5 p.m. if you're based in Malaysia, and you can uh, RSVP to the Facebook event 
just by going to bit.ly slash my flavors three for day three and day three we are going to hungary okay so uh, I'll, I'll leave you uh, wow. to go hungary. yeah go hungary <laughs> Tomorrow. So let's have a look at Chef Ismail. Let's see if he's ready for us. Hey, Chef. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much, <laughs> Thank you so much Chef. Uh, Chef yes. Ismail, guys, he is our ambassador. So we are so very, very um, privileged to have Chef Ismail follow this series. And any last words for our audience, Chef? Yeah. I can't. Hey. I mean the kitchen. <laughs> what is it? I can't remember. I, I, we just wanted you to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, okay. Okay. Terima kasih banyak banyak. Thank you so much. And uh, you both are amazingly great. And Jackie and Paul, thank you so much. And our, I'm sure our Dato ambassadors are also watching us. Thank you so much. And who are, who are tomorrow, Jack? Who is tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going to Hungary. <laughs> Restaurant Oh, Mazda. <laughs> and for those who want to see live from Restaurant Robong, Chef is my Kuala Lumpur. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow, same time. Yeah. And you see what Mazda is cooking tomorrow. And to you both, good luck. And please don't stop there. Go all the way. All right. Love you, people. All right. All right. Bye, Chef Ismail. And bye, uh, uh, Salsa Villa and Elias. Thank you so much for this amazing lesson. Very, very informative. And we will it's see you again. It's a pleasure, Jackie. Thank you for It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's, it's, so, it's a learning process for, for us as well. So oh, we hope next time we'll do much better. Uh, you will be fantastic. All right. We'll see you again. Bye.